This is Strong and Slim by Summer, brought to you by my friends at Delta Labs. Nurture, nourish, evolve. You ready? All right, so let's start in a downward facing dog. So in a downward facing dog, our hands are shoulder distance apart, our feet are hip width apart, spread your fingers wide, taking a whole lot of room in your mat. So make sure your palms are down on the mat so you get it out of your wrist. Index fingers forward or maybe out to the sides. Your feet, like I said, hip width apart. You could have your knees bent if you're tying the hamstrings or you, you know, if you're a little bit more open, you could straighten your legs. Nice. So rotate the biceps forwards, the triceps back. Press the floor away from you and get the chest a little bit closer to the thighs. Relax the head. So this is what a, a down dog should look like. It should feel good. It should feel like a little bit of work, but not too much on the wrist. You want to use your legs too. Awesome. Now inhale. Let's bring your right leg up into a three-legged dog. Hips are square. And then exhale, right knee to your forehead. And then stay here and place the right foot right in between your hands. Your back heel comes down. And then you rise up, warrior one, Virabha Virabhadrasana one. Nice, beautiful. From here, let's open. Warrior two, gazes forward. Now staying in this warrior two, we're going to hold it. We're going to make sure that the back foot is at a 90 degree angle. So the back edge of your back foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Nice. Now from here, make sure you bend right, your, your knee is right above your ankle. Make sure you can see that big toe. Now it's coiled, so you're not reaching forward. I want you to coil the right, the front ribs in, and then coil the back ribs in, so you're not going, and then close your lower ribs. That's it. Lengthen the tailbone down, bring the shoulder blades back behind you, and gaze over the front middle finger or beyond. That's your dristy. That's your gaze. And breathe. Rotating this thigh up, and same with the back one, back leg nice and straight. Ooh, Hold it. Now, now, feel the burn. Inhaling. And then exhale. Now, nice and easy. Inhale, extend your front leg. Now, re-bend your front leg so you give that back, that leg a nice break. Now, extend the front leg. Stay here. We're going to work into triangle nice and easy. Now, from here, keeping the ribs coiled like I told you. So, nice and engaged right here. I'll go behind here so you can see. Keep it nice. And, now, you're going to reach the right fingertips forward. Keep this engaged. Keep that engaged and just bring the right hand to the right shin. And then the left hand, left arm up. Gaze up at the top hand. So if this hurts your neck, you can always look down. That's it. So that's it's also, it's, you know, you don't always have to look up. Now feel the stretch in the side body. Back leg is nice and straight. So it should feel good. Make sure you bring the low ribs in. So the back, so you don't open too much in the back. That's it. Awesome. So you're going to hold for a couple of breaths here. Inhaling. And then exhaling. Looking at the beautiful sky if you can. If not, look down. Now, with your next inhale, let's look down if you're looking up and make your way up nice and easy. Beautiful. Now, bend your front knee, warrior two. Gaze is forward. Stay low in your front knee and inhale. Reverse your warrior. So, don't move the front leg. Feel the stretch. So, this is not a back bend. This is a side stretch. You should feel it on the side. And then exhale, side angle. So, bring the forearm to the thigh. And then the left arm up and over by the ear. Your palm faces down. So this is a great way. So make sure you take it out of the, the shoulder here. So press down so your shoulder is not up by your ears. Yeah. You could always take it a little bit deeper from here. So if you feel like, oh, you know, I'm a little bit more open today, and you could bring the right hand to the outside of your right foot. If you have a block, you can use a block. Make sure the crown of the head is reaching forward. Untuck the chin ever so lightly. Back leg stays really straight. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Now with the next inhale, let's bring both hands down to the floor. Plant your palms. Come up high into the ball of your back foot. Bring the right leg back. Three-legged dog. Inhale. And then exhale. Bring your right foot in between your hands. Stay here. We're going to take a nice twist from here. Keep the left hand where it is and your right arm up. Nice twist towards the right. Nice. Keeping the hips nice and head, so you don't want to drop the hips. The back leg is really straight. Beautiful. Inhaling. And then exhale. If you want to take this a little bit deeper, what you can do is bring the, right, the top arm right over your ear. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, you lengthen. Exhale, you get a little bit deeper into the twist. And then inhale, bring the right hand down. 
bring the right leg back high plank stay in this high plank hold it for a breath inhale and then exhale low plank chaturanga inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog so we're back to where this where we began back to our down dog reconnect with the breath remember the breath is the most important part of the practice inhale is bring the left leg up three-legged dog hips are square exhale bring the left knee to your forehead come a little forward look forward and bring the left foot in between your hands your back heel comes down rise up warrior one virabhadrasana one exhale peel your hips open warrior two gaze is forward so again you might have to adjust your foot the back foot is at a 90 degree angle back uh, back of the foot parallel to the back of the mat back leg is straight pull up through the quad again coiling the, the front rib in and then the back rib in lengthen the tailbone down bend a little bit deeper into the front knee press down into my hand so you feel the connection beautiful that's it awesome keep breathing shoulder blades back behind dristy looking over the front middle finger inhale exhaling here inhale so remember the breath is the most important part exhale now with your next inhale extend your front leg exhale re-bend your front leg giving it a little bit of a break and then inhale extend your front leg you're gonna stay here and this in this um, with both legs straight now from here without losing the engagement of your side body now let's lengthen the uh, front fingertips forward you don't have to go so far and then go down that's it beautiful so this is a perfect time also to use a block if you have one if you ever going to use a block bring it to the outside of the foot awesome you could always look down if you can if you like to so you're not hurting yourself back leg stays really really straight okay same thing coil your lower ribs I, i'm not well yeah coil your ribs but your lower ribs close them so you're not opening too much keep breathing no holding the breath everything in yoga for me is optional except the breath <laughs> that's what i always say everything is optional except the breath nice and slowly now look down if you're looking up and then inhale let's make your way up beautiful now exhale bend your front knee warrior two gazes forward now from here stay low in your front knee without moving your front knee reverse your warrior nice so be kind with your back leg with a hand and then exhale your forearm to your thigh and then your right arm up and over by the ear palm faces down so here you could also like i said you could bring the hand to the outside of the foot if you like if not you could use a block so make sure that the shoulder is not up by your by your ear you want to rotate the chest towards the sky yes we could use sky make sure you feel the stretch in the side body stay a little bit lower in the front knee you got it beautiful that looks awesome take an inhale exhale inhale crown of the head reaches forward untuck the chin ever so lightly bring the right shoulder down make sure it's not up by your ear as well take an inhale here and then exhale release the right hand down left hand down come up high into the ball of your back foot plant your palms and then send your left leg up using your core into a three-legged dog now inhale bring your left foot in between your hands low lunge doing it slowly so you can use your core stay here keep the right hand right where it is and then your left arm is going to lift up coming into a twist so your right hip is forward your left hip is back you stay here don't let the hips drag and if you want to take it a little bit deeper you take that over that arm over by your ear keep breathing couple breaths here so remember you can take as many breaths as you want in a, in a yoga in a yoga posture in asana five breaths is usually what we do in a class then with your next inhale is release both hands down to the floor plant the palms and your left leg back high plank take an inhale here in your plank exhale low plank chaturanga inhale up dog and then exhale tuck the toes into the mat lift your hips up downward facing dog breathe inhale exhale now inhale bring the knees down to the floor big toes are touching 
and then come into a child's pose. That was awesome. <laughs> Yay! I absolutely love the Warrior series. Oh my gosh, it burns so good. If you are new to this series, you can click on the thumbnail on the left to check out video one, which is the yoga warm up, or you can ramp it up with an exclusive Bex Life workout by clicking on the thumbnail on the right. You can find out more about me and everything I'm up to by visiting me at BexLife.com. And remember, hit that subscribe button for brand new videos every single week. Love you guys. I'm doing it.